So everybody, hello, welcome back to WA UK. I'm gonna to start today with a few apologies. I'm really sorry I went to a, uh, Adventure Overland last week, the show down in Stratford. Stratford's over there, by the way. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't film a video. Uh, it pissed it down all weekend, which is hard to believe considering it's a week ago. And look at it, summer has landed. I can't believe how sunny it is. And because it's so sunny, I'm gonna have a barbecue today. Now that's what normal people do. I'm going to be working on the trailer. No rest for the wicked. I'm just walking around the, the uh, yard where the barn is just to show you how beautiful this weather is. The birds are singing. The sun is out. It's actually warm. I wore stupid trousers. I should have wore shorts. I'm sweating. Anyway, um, trailer performed admirably last week. It was only a couple of nights stay for me there. Um, yeah, it was, it, was, it was absolutely spot on. Cooking on the back of the trailer, cooking in the fire pit that I took with me. Uh, it, it, it rained so, so naturally it got wet, it didn't leak in. Uh, I want to do a few alterations to the back door, the, the, the kitchen area. Let's walk into the barn, let's get out of that glare. Come on camera, just, we're indoors now, come on. Yeah, I want to do a few adjustments to the back door, I'm not going to be doing that today. To be honest, it's probably going to be next year by the time I get around to working on the back end now. I'm going to stick with that because there's a few shows coming up and I can't afford anything to go wrong. Um, today, this awning's coming off. Um, the new awning is ordered. Uh, I didn't have it out at Adventure Overland because we had a, a huge gazebo there. We had a, a huge shelter there, so I didn't need it. But I'm a bit worried that when I get this out, I'm going to be very let down. Uh, I've not seen what state it's in. I'm not interested to see what state it's in. So today it's going to come off. Wednesday, I've got one of the one of the brothers, one of the camping lads coming down to, uh, to collect it and he's going to put it on his landy and he's going to get use out of it. Hopefully he's going to do the necessary repairs. So he's coming to collect that which is all good. Uh, I've got a new one coming. I'm not going to give you too much about it because obviously I want to make a video about it and show you what's going on there, which is going to be perfect. Um, so as well as taking that off today, or, or at least starting to take it off so it's there and, and Gareth's not hanging around for ages, um, I'm going to sort out the mess that is in this box here. Uh, I'm going to build a wooden structure so I can bolt my solar controller to, uh, my fuse box to, and any other wires. Uh, I've also got an inverter in the back of the Land Rover that I might temporarily screw in there just on crocodile clips so we can use the inverter for charging up. The other lads, um, camera batteries and stuff, they can't charge their batteries via USB like me in my, on my little camera. Uh, they actually have to plug it in. So uh, just to help everybody out as usual, then we've got a base. Uh, the next show is going to be the Great British Bushcraft Conference, walking back this way now, um, which is going to be at Edale at the end of the month. Now I'm hoping to get there nice and early, I'm hoping to get there on a Thursday. I've liaised with the organisers, I've li liaised with Rick Torn, um, so we're all clear as to what's going on. I'm going to get there nice and early, I'm hoping to get there on a Thursday, uh, which is going to be absolutely brilliant. And then I can make a proper video, everybody arriving, a uh, bit of a time lapse, hopefully, of, of the whole camp filling up. That is the plan at the moment. Um, obviously, hopefully, I'd unveil the, uh, the the new the new awning as well, which will be which will be quite exciting. Anyway, guys, I'm going to uh, leave you there. As again, I'm very sorry I didn't make a video. It was a complete washout. It pissed it down all weekend, apart from the Sunday, um, which is when we were packing away. So I wasn't going to film us packing away because you never saw anything else. So I really do apologise for that. Only going to be a short one today. Just wanted to put apology into words and um, show you what we're going to be doing today. Okay folks, um, I'll fetch you back um, as soon as my friend gets here with all his tools, van full of tools today. Um, I'm going to have a helper as well which is absolutely amazing because this is going to go real quick. Um, yeah, and I'll fetch you back and I'll show you what we're going to be doing. Look at state on this again guys, see if I can get out the sun so you can see it. fallen down again yet my roof lining again no matter how many times i stick it up it falls down it is really really annoying i'll try sticking it back up again today and see if it stays up but with this blistering weather i very much doubt it i have some new bits new uh tidy thing i don't know what this thing's called uh rich has them all over all over edna so i thought i had a uh, it was peer pressure I thought I'd copy him. Also got a dead sheep on my bed. I don't know if you can see this. Is it going to adjust? Oh, I got a dead sheep. Being being born in Wales, you know, creature comforts and all that. Uh, one problem I did have is down here on the bed, because of the tight fitting nature of the bed inside the trailer, there's no screws holding it on. So one night 
in my drunken state I jumped on the bed and it collapsed so what I'm doing now just here uh, I've got the saw in a piece of wood and cutting a few little braces just to go in there hopefully I can get that central uh, not really looking at the camera so I'm gonna get a couple of little braces along there and either glue or stick them in somehow um, what else is new oh I got one of these I got one of these, I don't know if a lot of you have seen these, but if you haven't, if you're at any of the shows this year, this is every Bushman's dream. This is a Ridge Monkey. I'll give you a quick close-up of the box, I've not even opened it yet. Uh, but it's the ideal way of making toasties in the field. You can use this on your gas burner, or on an open fire. You put two slices of bread, you're filling, and just over, over. You can also use it as a frying pan, so it has multi-uses. Absolutely brilliant bit. Uh, I also bought, at last, I have a Dutch oven just here in its bag. Uh, I used that on one of the days down at the show and I made myself a beef stew, which was absolutely beautiful. Um, anyway, I will crack on making these two little struts before my friend gets here and we can carry on with the proper jobs. All right, folks, I'll fetch you back in a little while. Hello, everybody. Bring you back inside the back of the Land Rover. Roof's all fastened back up. Uh, Andy, my friend who was with me just a few seconds ago, had a trial with him, so I've managed to proper get in the corners and, and proper manipulate it. Uh, obviously, spraying some glue on first and manipulate it, so hopefully it'll stay up a little bit longer. Um, the other thing about the Land Rover, I don't, I'm not sure if I mentioned it in an early, earlier video, it's had a problem with, uh, with oil pressure when it gets warm. When it gets warm um, and it's ticking over, the oil pressure seems to drop. Um, I wasn't sure whether it was a problem with the actual oil pressure, because it's relatively low mileage on this vehicle. Or whether it was a sensor playing up so um, earlier this week I dropped all the oil uh, changed the oil changed the filter and I changed the sensor and that seems to have sorted it thankfully so um yeah it's given me a bit bit more hope but whilst I was under the car I noticed I had a very slight uh, transfer box leak which I'm just going to squeeze under it in a minute off camera and just top up the transfer transfer box oil with some um, some stuff that helps it stop leak as well. It's slightly thicker than, than your regular transfer box oil made by Lucas. Um, anyway, I'll take you over to the trailer and I'll show you what we've been up to. Uh, as usual, as usual, it didn't go according to, plan, according to plan, but when does it ever, when I'm working on this trailer, go according to plan? Come on camera, adjust, 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 make me a bit lighter, thank you. Um, so, when I got here, I opened up the back side of the trailer and I noticed that this drawer here, had fallen behind this bit of uh, stainless steel here. Um, and under closer inspection, I opened the back and started looking around, and I noticed all the units above the, the, the tail end of my bed. Let's get in here and show you. So all these units behind me, particularly this corner just here, had fallen lower. Uh, and indeed they had done further down there as well, right next to me, me, me heater there. Um, so I was, I was very grateful for Andy turning up because we had to lift it up and, and, and re-piece it back together but I've done it in such a way that it can't fall to bits ever again. Uh, I've put some 1x1 just here right the way along, three screws holding it so that bit cannot move. I've also put some blocks in here so it can't move so it's a lot more secure than it was. Under here behind my cooker, I don't know if this is going to pick up too well because of the light. You can probably just see a bit of 3x2 there that's holding it all up so it can't fall. Previously it was held up with these little blocks and little tiny screws going in and they've obviously in transit shaken loose and, and the weight has just pulled the little screws out. So uh, that was an unexpected repair that I've had to do, but I don't think it'll be coming off again. Um, looks a bit unsightly, but I'll get used to it. I mean, I'm hoping to, to rip out all the units early next year, refit units in the kitchen and rework the back door because I'm not 100% happy with it. I may put a few ventilation holes into the kitchen as well, just, just to give me a bit more air in here. But uh, yeah, that was what I've been on with with Andy this afternoon. Um, also, the other thing you'll notice is, if I'm out here, this is the awning side. There is no awning. The awning is currently underneath the trailer, waiting for my other friends to come and pick it up midweek, which is perfect. So that's all ready for him. Um, and, and besides this bit in here, which I'll show you, this is the box we've built, which I'll get a photo and stick on Instagram as well. Got the inverter, which is on croc clips, which I took down the front just here. 
Uh, we've got the solar control that and the fuse box all screwed into the top of that now, so it's much tidier. This is all screwed down as well, so the battery can't shift about when, when we're in transit. Uh, it's got hinges on the top, doesn't open too well because of, of the wires. And one of the wires has just popped off, bloody typical. On camera as well, so that's another repair I'm just going to quickly do today. Sorry I didn't bring you on for a, long, a lot of the ride, but as soon as I saw that unit had fallen, panic mode, I went into panic mode, got to fix this, got to fix this. Obviously, um, it's not long before before Edale, so so it's got to be right. It's got to be able to roll. Um, the next video, in fact, will be Edale. Uh, I'm going to fit the awning when it comes uh, midweek next week. I'm going to fit it off camera. I'm, there's there's no point in you watching me do up three bolts. It'll be the shortest video known to man. Um, but I will show it you at Edale. Uh, obviously, I'm getting there on the Thursday, so anybody who's there, I look forward to meeting you. But uh, I'll get the awning out and I'll give you a quick run around of, of how we've attached it, and I'll open it up so you can see it and give you a run through. Anyway, thank you for coming along today. Uh, another bit of a short video, just an update for you guys. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next time. Take it easy, folks.